Welcome to College Admissions Toolbox, giving you the edge you need to get into the colleges of your dreams. With your host, Steve Schwartz. That's me. When I was working on my college essays, I got loads of advice from all over, but I found that a strong majority of it conflict with other advice, so it left me kind of confused and unsure of what to do. I've concluded that vague advice like this is useless, because show don't tell is easier said than done when it comes to writing an effective college essay. At the same time, you've got to make sure you don't fall into the trap of laying it on too thick. This isn't going to convince anybody and can end up really hurting your chances in the end. And I know you've heard it all before. Admission officers read tons of essays and lots of them are similar. Your achievements are important, but even more important than those is how you present yourself and what you've done in your college essays. If you're like most of the students I work with, by the time you're writing your essays, you're not going to have much control over your test scores, your GPA, and your rec letters. But the essay is really your chance to show the admissions officers why they should want you at their school and to show them who you really are. We've already covered the rough draft, but at this point you should start thinking about how to refine it. Take some time to make sure that you've truly gotten personal in your essay that you're showing the admission officers who you really are. The last thing you want to do is present a polished image that's going to be difficult for them to relate to. So I've made a a list of five tips that I've developed over the years to help my students get personal in their college essays. Tip number one is to remember that this is an essay all about you. Whether the application's asking about a defining moment in your life or page 237 of your autobiography, the goal's the same. They want to know about you as a person, so really take the time to think about it. What do you want to tell them about yourself besides your GPA and your test scores? What did your teachers and recommenders leave out of their rec letters? Take the time to show colleges what you have to offer. Tip number two is keep your audience in mind. Every author is writing for a specific audience, so you got to ask yourself, who are these admission officers? Because you're writing for their eyes only. And keep in mind that they're going to spend a lot of long days and nights reading application after application. And at competitive colleges, the vast majority of applicants are going to be turned away. So it's really important to make sure that you stand out. You don't want to blend into the crowd, so hit your readers with an attention-grabbing first sentence one that really makes them want to keep reading. Tip number three is paint a picture to capture a moment. When you're writing your essay, it's really easy to fall into the trap of laundry listing reasons why you think you're great and why school X should accept you. This is really, really boring. You got to keep your audience in mind. They're overworked and forced to read thousands of similar essays. The goal of your essay should be to engage them and make yourself stand out and to make him or her want to meet you. The best way to do this is by telling a story, but it doesn't have to be something incredible like pulling a child from a burning building or climbing Mount Everest. I mean, if you have a story like this, that's great, but if you don't, and you're like the other 99% of us, don't worry. Since that vague show-don't-tell advice really is true, you've got to show them something about you. And the best way to do this is by putting them in your shoes. Let them see themselves at a specific moment in your life. Then use these images to support the points you want to make. How did this experience help to shape the person you are and the person you'd like to become by attending your dream school? Some of the best essays I've seen are about events that might seem boring at first. What matters is whether these events are important to you. You make the event interesting by including lots of details and colorful anecdotes. Reflect on your experiences and connect your essay to your dreams and who you are as a person. Tip number four is, really, don't be afraid to get personal. When it comes to college essays, few topics are really off limits. Admissions officers read tons of essays every year about how sitting in the front row of biology class and paying close attention helped a student turn things around. So really, don't be afraid to go deeper. Write about your emotions your deepest thoughts, the kinds of things that most people don't know about you. If you're honest and let them see the real you, you'll be able to form a connection that has the potential to make them want you at your school. 
And tip number five, finally, is to leave an impression. You want to know which college essays really stand out from the crowd? The ones that they're still thinking about while they're cooking dinner that night. So pay close attention to your last few sentences. Give them a hook, something to remember you by, before you let them go. So your action step for this lesson is to ask other people for feedback about whether it feels like anyone could have written this or whether it truly feels like your essay draft was written by a unique individual, a real specific person they'd want to meet. Like I've said before, it really helps to use the active voice as much as you can. You want colleges to feel your personality and keep asking yourself whether your tone and your style really communicate the values and aspects of your personality that you want to show these colleges. In my premium college essay course, I'm going to give you a template for how to write personal college essays. Because while every essay has to be different and unique to the individual, there are some common mistakes I keep seeing students make that lead essays to be repetitive. These kinds of essays don't really say much about the student. So in my premium college essay course, I'm going to give you a complete guide on how to structure personal college essays. You can sign up at collegeadmissionstoolbox.com slash essays. And next time, I'm going to give you some tips on things to watch out for because I keep seeing students make the same mistakes over and over again, and it really drives me crazy. Thanks for listening to College Admissions Toolbox. Head over to www.collegeadmissionstoolbox.com to get more free tools and resources that will help you get into the colleges of your dreams.